What's going on, you neon fireflies? Today, I'm bringing you guys a comparison video. Now, I haven't really done a video like this before on my channel, but I'm going to start doing it. So, we're, what pretty much what I'm comparing is video games. So, today, we're starting off with Call of Duties. Uh, so, we're going to we're gonna start with Black Ops 2 versus AW. Now, I want you guys in the comments below to comment which game you think is better. Do you think Black Ops 2 is better? Do you think AW is better? For me, I'll tell you mine at the end. Because I don't want to, I don't want to be biased when I'm doing this comparison. So, let's start off with Black Ops 2. What was good about Black Ops 2? Obviously, competitive Call of Duty exploded in Black Ops 2, and not to mention sniping was very, very like amazing until the end when Vondi and his goons uh, patched the DSR. And I don't know. I think uh, Black Ops 2, in my opinion, has the better sniping of the two. Now let's get on to what was bad about Black Ops 2. Everybody knows connection in Black Ops 2 was not the greatest, and I mean, in, in pretty much in, in every Call of Duty that's been out, besides maybe I would say uh, COD 4 and W2 connection was uh, was definitely a problem. Now another bad thing about Black Ops 2 was the developers in general. I think the developers didn't do a really good job of of listening to a certain community of players, like uh, like the sniping team or the sniping team, the sniping community. Uh, they pretty much hate snipers, and I think every single developer that has made a Call of Duty, maybe besides Infinity Ward, has hated sniping. And you, it, it just shows. Uh, Black Ops 1 sniping was like, um, you couldn't snipe in Black Ops 1 until, uh, I think it was uh, Spratty uh, found a, uh, a way around that. And that really helped. But let's get into Advanced Warfare. What was good? What's good about Advanced Warfare now? There's not a whole lot that's great about Advanced Warfare, in my opinion. But um, I can definitely say... Uh, hard point in this game is really really fun uh, to play and watch. Uh, Uplink is an amazing game type. I think that needs to continue to be in Call of Duty in the future, and I think CTF needs to go. Uh, in my opinion, I think Uplink is the better of the two, and I think that Sledgehammer did a really good job with. Uh, imp uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Implementing. Implementing. Uh, yeah. yeah, implementing uh, new game types in, and even though some of these game types we've seen before, such as Momentum, when it was War back in World of War. They do a really good job of bringing that back. And Momentum is a really, really good sniping uh, sniping playlist or, or game type. Um, things I don't like about Advanced Warfare. I don't like the kill feed. And, and, and that's a really, really big problem. I didn't like the kill feed before they patched it. I thought the kill feed was way, way too slow. But then they just made it wicked fast. And luckily enough, they're going to be fixing that pretty soon. And it's going to be like 6 seconds, which is phenomenal. I think that's going to be so much better than 15 seconds or 4 seconds. Another bad thing about Advanced Warfare is the connection, and, and and I'll put this in there with the connection with the skill-based matchmaking. Now, obviously, uh, Michael Conley kind of explained what skill-based matchmaking is, but I think he kind of left some of the big points out. Um, Black Ops 2 had skill-based matchmaking at the beginning of the game, and we didn't like it, and they took it out. But for some reason, I guess Sledgehammer thought that it would work in this game, and it really hasn't worked at all. And pretty much all you hear about, uh, when you hear about skill-based matchmaking in Advanced Warfare, all you, you never get a positive comment about it. And they continue to not take it out. But I want to add one more thing that I do like about Advanced Warfare that I think that should be in every Call of Duty. And that is um, that is one shot. I think one shot needs to be in every single Call of Duty. Mainly because, guys, if you're not a good sniper, that is one that is a playlist that will help your sniper shot just be unbelievable. It helps you. Um, I even hit a quad feed in one shot on the new AW, which is completely insane. And uh, I've been, I've been, I've just been having a lot of fun playing one shot. Now, another thing, one more thing that I don't like about Advanced Warfare, I just don't like how boring it is. Advanced Warfare, is, it just gets so stale and so boring. And I don't know if it's because of the exosuits or not. Um, but I, in my, my honest opinion, I think one problem is the exosuits. I don't think this game even contributes to Call of Duty at all. It does not make it feel like Call of Duty. I'm, I feel really awkward playing this game. And I, I mean, when I played MW3 and Black Ops 2, I didn't feel this way. And that's why, in my opinion, Black Ops 2 is the better of the two games. And not, not to bash on Sledgehammer, but I do give them a lot of shit for this game. Um, but I, I know how hard it is to develop a game like this. And I know that they have to, they have, they're not going to please everybody. And in certain situations, they're not going to please anyone but, you know, at least they're trying their hardest and they're going to be fixing these problems pretty soon, hopefully. <clears throat> so that's pretty much the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, favorite, subscribe if you want. My Twitter will be on the description below. XG and Sniping's Twitter will be down in the description below. Follow the team, and I'll see you guys in the next video.